Hello, Gemini. Welcome back to my channel, y'all. How are you? It's so good to have you back. I am so happy to have all of you, my loves, back here on my channel. We are here for your very lovely, abundant, in love month of January 15th through the 31st. I, I hope you guys are well, and I am sending you all my love. Thank you for all of you who have donated to the channel. And I do want to go ahead and say thank you so much for all of you for your kind words, for being the most, the most liked. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know my videos are uploaded. Also, um, check out my Instagram. I do have testimonials, reviews. I do pick a card readings. And I um, post spiritual tips as well. Also, I do have a Reiki healing giveaway session going on. It's a one card pull to any question you have. And it's also um, a complimentary healing session, okay? So I want all of you guys to please be a part of it. Everyone deserves healing. We all are here. I really love, love to see your flow, Gemini. I'm excited to see your expansion. Let's continue. <clears throat> so Gemini, January 15th through the 31st in Matters of Love, I'm having a vision of this beautiful lotus flower. It's hot pink and it's growing outward towards the sun. It reminds me of Lakshmi. It's almost like a Lakshmi lotus flower in love representing Venetian energy, Venus, Libra, Scorpio. Um, I'm also, excuse me, I'm also getting a lot of um, I'm also getting a lot of just goddess-like energy, okay? You are feeling so much in your power. And not just that, I'm getting a lot of abundance in love. There's something very, very abundant in love for you, okay? So, Gemini... The opening of the lotus flower is also a representation of a new beginning with a Libra, a Taurus. I'm also getting Virgo. For some of you, this person has a Scorpio moon. So we have act now. And we have sunflower in reverse, expansion and new opportunity in reverse. So, I'm getting a lot of activation in regards to pushing past barriers, Gemini. A lot of you guys have been caught up in karmic partnerships. A lot of you guys are exhausted. A lot of you guys have been like, wow, you're looking at 2020 and you're like, I am done with that and love. And a lot of my Gemini energies right now, you are ready. There is a rocket. It's like you are like blast off. Let's go. New love. Where are you? Because you guys have been either dealing with a Scorpio or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This chapter is over. A lot of you guys have completed this cycle. Okay. So we do have voice of your muse in reverse, okay? Neptune in reverse, and we have firefly illumination. So you guys, there's an activation of illuminating a lot of your pain around your self-expression, your identity, and most of all, your independence. Some of you guys are really, I'm hearing your solar return, but it doesn't mean your birthday. It just means you're really coming around the sun. There's an orbiting around, representing and very symbolic of a very, very powerful and potent growth. There's an independent energy of learning how to detach from people who are parasitic, people who are mooching off your energy, okay? You will no longer be allowing this, yeah? And I am getting, um, there's a need to really express your story in love. 
a lot of my Geminis, there's a lot of trauma behind love. You know, there's a lot of, it's, it almost feels like there's a lot of background. There's a narrative here. There's a storyline. Okay? And whatever this is, it needs to be illuminated. There's something here that needs an illumination process. Okay? So I am getting a new beginning, an open door with a Sagittarius, specifically a Leo, an Aries. A new beginning here with a Pisces. Okay? So... We have ancestors and family in reverse. Some of you guys, listen, oh my gosh, you guys, the end of the month, Gemini, your generational trauma, there's an activation of clearing it. Some of you guys, I'm hearing a lot of you guys, my guides are saying, I just don't want to be like my father or my mother. I don't want to recreate this story anymore. And that is because your ancestors' energy is saying, Please heal the lineage by making a choice to be different, to do things differently. Whether it is dating, you know, abusive energies like, you know, partners or whether it's dating, you know, jealous people or if you guys have been stuck in a rut of not letting yourselves be loved. And, you know, the tough part, it's like Geminis are so eccentric you know, I, I, I totally relate because there's, there's a duality about your energy, right? There's such a duality. It's like one day you feel like you want to love this way. The next day you may need your, your space, right? So there's a lot of, I'm getting a lot of you guys just want to be free from attachments. You're like, can I just be myself? This is a movement for Gemini this year. Can I be myself? Can I be who I am and not be judged by my day-to-day -day shifts or my day-to-day -day movements? This is why I personally love Gemini's because there's a duality. You guys aren't made to be understood. You're made to be loved. So, on the other side of the spectrum, let love enter. Let people love you, Gemini. What is what is that? What is that? Because you, I mean, come on. Let people love you. You know people love you. It's the commitment that's that's kind of a, a deep fall there, huh? For some, not all. All right, Gemini, let's see what's going on. So, Gemini in love. Hmm. There's an awakening. Wow. Pluto energy. Okay. Rebirth. Destruction of old order. Yeah. There's an awakening here that's incredibly powerful. There's an illumination. That lotus flower isn't for anything. Some of you are giving birth to a new long-term partnership and you're like, finally, someone who gets me. Definitely a Libra here. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini could be a Pisces as well. Like I said, you have abundant love, but some of you guys have to let old structures fall apart. Let go of your old partnerships. Let go of what's weighing you down. You guys, you are no longer in the past. We are 2021 hunting. We, we do not, we do not have time. I'm just getting a movement with you guys. Like, are you in or are you not? You guys are feeling really, really powerful. Mm-hmm. Let go. Let go of the ex, you guys. Some of you guys are still holding on to something from the past. And someone else is trying to make their way in here. And they're trying to love you from a place of wisdom. It's almost like this person understands you. They're not going to be pushy. They're really going to allow a flow of love to come in without pushing you. Okay. So Gemini in love.
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, talk about manifestation and love. You guys have a lot of love coming in. Not just a lot of love, but there's an abundant exchange here with somebody who owns their business. I am getting someone who either used to bartend or they own their own bar or somebody who um, owns their own business. They're very powerful. Okay. It's almost like, look at them. You, you know, they walk in the room and you're like, dang. Okay. Mask and all, right? COVID season. <sighs> See, it's almost like, yes, I am here. You guys are really, really feeling the spirit of Cupid at the end of the month. There's an intensity here. It's like you're ready, but you're not letting go. Some of you, you guys, please allow, allow love to enter. I don't know why Gemini I'm getting, and I feel so connected to you because a lot of my best friends growing up were Geminis, you know? A lot of the people I loved in my life are Geminis, and I'll tell you why. Because Geminis do not judge, like Aquarius, most Geminis. There's, there's no judgment here. There's, there's no criticism. There's no gossip. If anything, I've always been blessed with a Gemini to, to correct me when I'm being negative. I like that. I like being understood for being eccentric and being different. And a Gemini will do that. So if you're cross-watching and you want to know how to snag a Gemini, trust me, you know, I've, I've known a few. Let them process. They're thinkers give them space. And most of all, if you can give a Gemini um, the respect of space and the respect of human of, of a human experience, they will love you forever. They don't want to be held. And I get it. Because I have a Sagittarius moon. I'm very like, let me be free. <laughs> so I'm with you. Yes. Okay. So let's see. Okay, Gemini, I'm just feeling really good about this reading, you guys. Like, I just feel like a wave of good energy. Um, I really feel it for you guys at the end of the month. Like, if you've been waiting, you've been really, really waiting, I feel this, this new abundance. Like, it's going to really happen for you. Now, we have the Six of Swords in reverse. You guys, let go of the past. The past, the past is pending. It's still here, Okay. It's still here. It's weighing heavy on the shoulders. It could be your inner child. There's an inner child wound. Some of you guys still, um, there's something about running away from home, stuff around father. Let it go so you can be free. Like roll the shoulders back. Take a deep breath. Yeah. So I have to tell you, there, there's going to be um, news of an ex dating someone new, getting engaged to someone new, and this is going to hurt, okay, it's going to hurt, um, you have to let it hurt, because this person, don't, you know, I'm almost guided to say, don't do things out of ego, because you want to get back at them, So we have the Ace of Swords, the, the world in reverse. So we have, oh my gosh, you guys. <sighs> Hello. My guides are telling some of you guys are going to end up dating someone in the industry. You're dating someone with a lot of power, a lot of uh, level up here. It's like, what isn't there to love about you, Gemini? Hello. Look at this birth. You are giving birth to new conditions, not just in business, but in love, prosperity. You are it. You are attracting partners. You are it. You are in clarity of mind some of you are like listen I'm going to take my bag okay little Kim bag I'm going to take my bag and I'm going to go over there I'm done with y'all okay you know I'm, I'm going to choose my legacy listen to that song you guys it's really awesome <laughs> it's really great but seriously you're like I'm, I'm here with a legacy and I'm taking my bag and I'm going to go 
Because bottom line, some of you guys are realizing that this old karmic pattern, especially if you have been with a Scorpio, look at this. It's honey. It is weighing, it's weighing heavy on your back. It's like, I can feel it. I'm channeling your energy. I can feel this tense energy on my back. Okay. So, be aware of how you're projecting, you know, a lot of your wounds surrounding your father, because this is very prevalent here. It's very, very prevalent with the way you are loving. A lot of you guys have a burdened relationship with your father or something has happened that has been weighing heavy for you. And now it's like at the end of the month, you're going to let go. There's a surrender process, but we cannot control this. Yeah, Gemini. Gemini is, you know, you guys, I don't see you guys as, as needing control, but something about a water sign, you have to surrender the process. Let go so you can be free. Advice and love. Ten of Cups. The advice is to be fulfilled. I am mine before I am anyone else's. I am mine before I am anyone else's. Self-fulfillment, self-prophecy. When you walk in to a room and you know you are it there is no need to apologize for being you head up high ten of cups, nine of cups you know who you are choose partners that are going to choose you I love you, bye